guys and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Sims 4 The 100 Baby Challenge. Now in Lep's last episode when we left off the triplets had moved out of the household of the baby factory and mom is pregnant and there are two older twins and there's two younger twins. Currently Angelica and Holly are having some tuna casserole because they obviously are hungry because, you know, the kids are always hungry. Mom is enjoying tuna casserole over here while she's feeling a little, I would say morning sickness, but it's not morning sickness, it's afternoon sickness <laughs> because it's 2.30. Currently, Mom is in her, she's still in her first trimester, so she won't be going into her second trimester for another six hours. She is pregnant with Dylan Karen's baby. While we were off camera, I decided to do a few updates to the house since we have a ton of money from all the roses mom has been growing. So while everybody is eating, I rearranged the toddler room and gave them some more decorations. Added some curtains because I felt like, you know, the windows were naked so I wanted to give them a little bit makes it seem a little bit warmer that's pretty much all I did downstairs oh good the older twins are home snowdrop and poinsettia are home they need to I don't know what they need right now they're tense so I'm gonna just let them do whatever they feel like doing to make themselves feel better also upstairs I kind of, you know, I added some more curtains to the, the girls' bedroom, gave them some more decorations, the boys' bedroom, same thing. And that's really about it that I did inside the house. Outside the house, I kind of redid the treehouse inside. I gave them uh, a void critter game station so they can go and play with. There's a violin and there's also a, pu a puppet show. So if they want to go out there outside and do that, they're more than welcome to do that. All right, let's check in on Poinsettia and Snowdrop, who both need some fun. Looks like you're smelling. <laughs> He's a little unhappy about that. So they have some serious needs they need to take care of before anything else. So let's see. Okay, you're tense. Why don't you go and take a shower? That'll make you feel better. You're super tense. So why don't you go play a game? All right, so everybody knows what they need to do. Said their grades were up. I'm assuming they're B students. Oh, no, they're A students. So guess what? <laughs> They can age up. <laughs> Yay. So we'll let them, you know, get their tenseness and their fun taken care of and then then we'll do a little birthday party for them. And then they can go do their homework. Alright, let's go. Come blow out your your candles. Time to age up. I can't believe I have teens with these girls already. Pick a number one through twelve. One. Okay, one. Friend of the animals. A glutton. And a vegetarian. Okay. She's cute. She looks like her mom, but with dark hair. Oh gosh, mom. No, 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 no. <laughs> what is her obsession with bathing in the rain? Alright, while well, we're waiting for mom to make another cake. So you... <laughs> She's like, I'm not doing my homework. I'm going to bed. Yep. She's going to bed. Okay. It's 
Snowdrop says I'm not doing my homework. Okay. Alright, let's see, Mom. <laughs> Add some birthday candles. Mom really does not feel good right now. <laughs> and this child. Alright, blow out your candles. All right, here we go. Pick a number one through 12. Huh? Here's a random number, two. All right, she wants to be a bodybuilder. She's hot headed and a child of the islands. Okay. <laughs> Iris is here to visit and and uh nobody's like paying any kind of attention to her whatsoever. They're like, yeah, sure you can come in, we don't know who you are. Well they kinda do, actually. I think she Yeah, they know her, but they were toddlers. They haven't seen her since. Hey, how about you, Poinsettia, stop talking to your, your little sibling there and just do your homework. Alright, I'm gonna send this toddler to bed. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like none of them listen anymore. <laughs> none of them listen. Alright, Poinsettia's done her homework. Great. Oh my gosh, the lag. Like, I'm not even doing anything in this game. It's just lagging terribly. Alright, so Poinsettia is off to bed. She's exhausted. This child is gonna, or this teenager is gonna do her homework. Hopefully. Right on top of the computer. Because it makes sense. Toddlers are sleeping. I'm assuming their needs are okay. Yeah, they're fine. Let's check on mom. She may have to pee. Yep. Right, we'll get mom up to pee, and then when Snowdrop is finished with her homework, she can go to bed after she goes pee. Where in the world? Why is Poinsettia? Still awake. Go to sleep. What is wrong with you? I know. They have been tense for days because of these storms. All of my sims. I think it may be time to buy some exercise equipment for Poinsettia since she wants to be a bodybuilder. I don't know where I'm going to put it, <laughs> but we'll figure something out. What is mom doing? 
Oh, I'm hungry, so I'm just gonna heat up this burrito. She's got major morning sickness. Why do I have a feeling she's carrying triplets? I mean, her belly is really big and she's just in her second trimester. She just went into her second trimester. I don't know if I can handle triplets. All right, how are we doing, Snowdrop? You really have to pee. Well, hurry up and get your homework done. Oh, yep, yeah. mom's getting sick. <laughs> Lovely. Clean that. Mop that. Alright, so this one, Angelica is working on her imagination by looking at a book. Holly smells after she's done eating. Mom's gonna have to give her a bath. I gotta get the older two. Gorsoy. Nimanu Riva. I gotta get the other two up. Whatever. School. Alright, get up. I'll make sure they're in a decent mood for school. This one's barely had any sleep. I don't get it. struggle with with poinsettia <laughs> all right so mom's taking care of bathing Holly when Holly is done taking a bath she really needs to go back to sleep and Angelica who really reminds me of the Angelica from Rugrats on oh, Nickelodeon She's getting some food. <laughs> She's just gonna stomp her way to school. <laughs> yeah, I think that's gonna be our thumbnail. <laughs> and I don't know what the other one's wearing. Yeah, they need makeovers. Well, let's tick them off some more by uh, saying, you know, um, study hard. All right, and we're home with the toddlers all day again. Just chewing on that book. She is adorable. Look, imagination level two, but this one, Angelica is so much further ahead of her sister and her skills. It's it's kind of crazy. Imagination level three, communication level three, thinking's almost to level three, and then you have Holly. So imagination. It just said she got to level two, but it, I guess hasn't caught up on the on the bar yet. Over there. Yeah, she's a full level behind her sister. All right, go to sleep. Okay, so. Yes, we just got mail, and we are probably going to go into a heat wave today, so we're going to put this on cooler, but I think it's time Ina needs to meet somebody new, so I think once we put Angelica down, I think we're going to go out. Yeah, because she's getting pretty tired.
So around noon, we will head out. We are here in Windenburg at the pool, and Enid has run into her daughter, Bluebell, and currently she is sharing the big news that Bluebell is getting a new brother or sister. Regineu. <laughs> she boo! Winu boo! <laughs> and Enid is so excited to share the news. And we're gonna go ahead, this is the first guy we've run into, so we're gonna go ahead and do a, um, cheerful introduction. This guy's, like, interested in Bluebell, but he <laughs> keeps trying to talk to him. How about over here? Who are you? We'll go introduce ourselves to this guy. Alright, so we're gonna brighten his day. Let's see, maybe we can get to know him. We're not gonna flirt or anything, we're just gonna ask him about his career. You know, pretend like we're actually really interested. Okay, he's leaving. Caleb, we weren't talking to you. Definitely don't need any vampire children right now. <laughs> She's uncomfortable because this place is poorly decorated. Where'd the guy go? We are home from our little excursion out, and Mom is super tired because, of course, she's pregnant and she's ready for bed. So we're going to let her do that. The girls are home from school. The toddlers are somewhere hanging around the house. All right, so Mom's in her third trimester. So she's going to be having babies soon. All right, Angelica's eating. This child's playing Sim Shape. And now she's hungry. So basically I'm gonna let her eat, go potty and go to sleep because we're not making any progress on the, uh, on um, anything right now. All right, you need some fun. So go out here. And dream big a few times. That'll that'll get your fitness skill up a little bit. <laughs> Did you just take that child's food? <laughs> Where is your homework? I swear they just throw it. They're like, I'm not doing it. Screw you, I'm not doing it. Go to your homework and then you can go to bed. Angelica, what are you doing? She's actually in fairly good shape. She's just enjoying herself over here playing dolls. <laughs> and movement's doing good, potty's doing good. And she's almost finished with thinking. So you know what? She can just go ahead and work on shapes. Yep, movement level three. So basically just thinking and potty and she's going to be able to age up. And I know she has a twin, but I don't think I'm going to wait around. All right, Angelica is level three on everything except for potty. So I am just going to have her go potty a couple of times and then she could go to sleep good morning everybody it is Friday morning and Enid is making breakfast for everybody in the household it is time for the girls to get up and take showers and brush their teeth and do everything they need to do for the day so that they can have good days in school. I anticipate that poinsettia will probably get an A today. 
Uh, but I'm not 100% sure that she will. Uh, but I don't think Snowdrop will because she hasn't gotten a skill to level 3. She's kind of lagging behind her sister a little bit. And Enid is tired already, even though she just woke up. But that's okay. She's in her she's in her third trimester, so I expect her to be uh, extra tired <laughs> because of it. I am gonna go ahead and wake Holly so that she can use the bathroom and get going on her skills. She is just super far behind her. Well, not super far behind. I can't say super far behind. But she's far enough behind her sister that her sister could age up today. And she would have to wait an extra day. Alright, Poinsettia. Let's go. She's angry, as usual, because she's hot-headed. She's going to stomp her way around the house. It's alright, you're going to be really angry this weekend when all you're doing is working on school projects to get your responsibility up. I think Snowdrop. She looks just like her mother, but with black hair. Like, just like her mom. And Poinsettia looks more like her dad. Mom's got this expression on her face like, I just, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Huh. I've had too many children to, to know what's going on. Alright, I am going to go ahead and wake up Angelica. Because Mom is going to age her up. Because that's... I don't see the point in keeping her a toddler if she can age up. So let's see. Open. Oh, mom's in labor. I had a feeling. All right. Well, I guess we won't be aging up angelica at this very moment because we are going to the hospital because mom is in labor and her belly is huge i really 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 think that she is going to be having twins all right going to the hospital all right we are at the hospital and as usual mom is completely uncomfortable because she's in labor again and again, there's nobody here to check her in, but it looks like she's already checked in. Never mind, she's like, I got this. Mom's like, I don't even need to check in anymore. I'm a frequent flyer here. Oh, we have a new doctor this time. Someone new. Did, Ma did the doctor get struck by lightning? She's got sparks flying off of her. I think she did. <laughs> I don't even have names picked out. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do for names. Oh, we have another girl! It's another girl. So let's go with... We'll go with Rue. Rue. It's a... <laughs> How much you want to bet this triplets? Alright, we're gonna go with Rue. We're gonna go with... Ivy. Okay, it's only twins. It's only twins, which means mom can get pregnant again. 
Thank God it's not triplets. <laughs> All right, so we have Rue and Ivy. Mom still looks like she has one in there. What's that? tub. I forgot. Okay, we are home from the hospital, and Mom's body is back to being in perfect condition after giving birth to another set of twins, Rue and Ivy. I'm going to have her take care of both of them. We'll do super efficient baby care on the one that's screaming, and we'll just have her feed the other one. We've got, uh, looks like a tablet in the air here. <laughs> Holly's tired, she's going to bed finally. Okay, Snowtrop is sad, but you know what? You can aid your sister up. How about that? How about you go and, and age up Angelica? That way she can start working on skills. How about that? More choices. Help blow out candles. Angelica. So go do that. And poinsettia. I don't. She's actually an A. So, really, all she needs to do is work on her. Um, what project is this? Her responsibility. Here, you know what? Just go do that. And then when your sister's done helping your other sister, because it's nothing but <laughs> girls in this house. <laughs> Pick a number one through four. Two. Alright, so her aspiration number two, she's a whiz kid, and she is a goofball. <laughs> Perfect. And we're still waiting on Holly, but Holly had to go back to sleep. And that's okay. That's that's fine. Add birthday candles. You really need to get over being sad, girl. Okay. Now, she can come up here. Use the toilet and then assist with the project. Thought you were gonna go use the potty. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. It's just your lives are terrible. Are you crying and eating? What is wrong? This child has got issues. Do you want me to read you a book? She's like, no, I don't want you to read me a book. <laughs> and she's like looking down at her like, little girl, I know you are not telling me no. Alright, hug lovingly. Never mind. Read to the child. Oh my gosh, I do not like the clingy toddlers. They are so annoying. Like, really? You're getting attention, but yet you're just not happy with it. Oh my god, this child is like throwing tantrum after tantrum. Just go to sleep. Oh my gosh. Okay, so when mom's doing done doing everything she needs to do, we need to invite over one of the guys that we met while we were out. This guy. 
Thanks, Efrain. All right, let's see our community action. We have free love. Um, what's fun loving community? We have a ton of it, so you know what? We'll just put in like 15. How about that? Okay, he's sad. Why is it everybody comes to our house is sad? Stop being sad. Now she's tired. Alright, try to cheer him up. Here, flatter him. We're good friends with him now. Compliment his appearance. Sexy pose. Come on, we gotta hook up like right now. Luna Bisella. <laughs> Work with him. Hmm. Compliment him again. Javoy. <laughs> ah, it's Anquil. Luna. <laughs> ooh. Girl. He's like, ooh, girl. Flirt some more. Hana Dens. Off from a rose. Roses always work. So so. Kelma. Flirt again. Oh, we have a baby screaming. Um, blow him a kiss. He's like, ooh, girl. Ooh, first kiss. Bluebell? Really? Borima Hinaba. Uh -huh. It takes some sort of special skill to seduce somebody in a hospital gown. I will say that. <laughs> Try for a baby. Be like, do you want to get me pregnant? I mean, I've got like 16 kids, but you know. I could handle another one. Or two. Okay, eating for two. See you later, dude. <laughs> Alright, she can go to sleep. He's out of there. Angelica's... Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Holly, are you happy enough to actually do something like, um, get your thinking skill where it needs to be? Actually. I'm just gonna tell her an urban legend. Because that's what sisters do. They scare the crap out of their siblings. Angelica's like, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Emma, I think the thing! Barpasa, Debo Okay, Holly has finally made it to level three on everything, which means she can age up. So I'm gonna have Poinsettia age up Holly, and then Poinsettia is gonna go ahead and age up and move out. <laughs> she has to be... <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Baby. 
pick a number one through four. Here's a random number, four. All right, Holly. Social, fabulous. And a goofball. Okay, so both the girls are goofballs. All right, let's go. Okay, so she wants to be a bodybuilder. She's hot-headed, a child of the islands, and childish. All right, add birthday candles. Go ahead and eat those since you're hungry. All right, everybody, I'm going to leave this episode here for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you want to see more, please give this video a big thumbs up. Click that subscribe button, leave me a comment, and I will talk to you next time. Bye, guys.